Hi, I'm Garrett, part of the team here at Crayon, and today we've got a really exciting update about analytics inside of the product. I'm gonna show you what this looks like by starting on the Compete Hub window. And what I used to do is if I had a question about battle card performance, I would click on the battle cards tab, navigate to the performance menu, and then start digging into the numbers. We can actually get there much faster than ever before with this new top level menu bar called Analytics. It rolls up battle card performance, board performance, and win-loss analysis into a single tab. So again, if I'm jumping into battle card performance today, I'll click on this first item, and Crayon will take me over to a redesigned battle card performance page. So it's more beautiful and easy to read than ever before. We're really excited about how this makes your job easier as a Crayon admin. And when you have questions about how your business is performing and how battle cards are contributing to your success in the market, this is where you go. You'll notice a couple of things have changed here. Number one, we used to have preset slots of time. So we still have those seven days, 30 days, a month. And that was really how you could slice and dice battle card performance over a period of time. There's now a new section at the bottom with start date and end date that is full calendar filtering. So any, uh, any time slot that makes sense for you, your team, your executive team, you can now filter by that custom window of time. This is really great if you're getting pulled into an executive QBR. If your sales team is asking about how they performed or how win-loss is looking uh, for a specific period of time, or you can go back and look at how battle cards affected and influenced revenue around th something like a product launch. This is a really interesting capability that you can use to tailor this to any situation you can think of. So you're no longer bound to just the preset dates. They're still there if that's convenient, but the custom date now available from the top. You'll also see that we are defaulting to month now, not week. This is a little bit more of a clean view, a more useful view for a lot of our admins. So defaulting to month shows you this clean chart with a trend over time. It's a little bit easier to grok, especially for that persona that's like an executive or a sales leader that's not inside of Crayon every single day or every single week like you might be. Easier to export and incorporate in your deck wherever that might be going. You'll also see this interesting flip between total views and unique users. You can break down your battle card performance data by total views or, again, by unique viewers. This is all downloadable, but this is a very powerful capability here to show you how much total traffic are you seeing, that's total views, and then how many individual Crayon users have hit your battle cards or a specific battle card in this period of time. Very interesting to look at these two because it shows you again the number of unique seats, the user count, versus how often and frequently they're coming back. Great story to tell there as you're rolling up your performance metrics. You'll also see as we scroll down influence revenue in this giant, easy to read, beautiful pane. A reminder that to see influenced revenue, you need impact set up. It's very easy to do. This is something we work with customers every day to accomplish. So if you haven't set up impact yet, but you'd like influenced revenue as an awesome metric to bring back to your company, work with your CSM. We would love to get that set up today. As we scroll further down, all of this is influenced revenue and view information for each battle card. So you'll see at the top here, this tab, I have 24 battle cards in this instance, and I'm on the battle card tab. And it's showing me lots of useful data, like the number of Crayon views, embedded views outside of Crayon, specifically inside of Salesforce and HubSpot, where a lot of our customers are driving their sales teams and enabling them where they work, not pulling them back inside of yet another tool. We're right there. You can now see how effective that is for your team. If people are really loving seeing this inside of HubSpot and Salesforce, you will see that in the data here. The other thing you can do is flip over from battle cards as a view to users. In this case, we have 1,500 users in this account, and I can scroll through and see a whole bunch of data on how they're viewing intelligence, specifically battle cards, as a performance metric. This is awesome for your program, for roll-ups, sharing with your partners in sales, you can also find your power users by looking at this menu. All of these are filterable. So if you want to see, hey, who looked at this today? 
who is going into this right now, you can find that with battle card performance metrics in the updated analytics view. You can also look at total views and again, find that power user, that champion that's going to help drive your program over the top. This individual, as an example, has far more total views than anybody else in this account. That's an administrator. And I'm saying, okay, I get that. This might be my colleague on the product marketing team. I understand why they're coming in so much. What's the first person that's a non-admin, that's a non-collaborator that I haven't pulled into my program yet? This person here, Jasmine Gonzalez, is in our top 10 with 545 total views. I'm reaching out to that individual. I'm pulling them into my Tiger team. I'm empowering them to be a part of this process because they're hitting it so much and they're a great power user. So if I go back to my analytics view and I click on board performance, it's a very similar view. Everything we just walked through as far as total views, you will see here as well. When I scroll down, you will again see this broken down by boards and by users. So if you have the same questions that you had for battle cards about boards, again, very easy workflow, jump in. You can slice and dice that data right here all the way down to total views and where they're seeing this in HubSpot and Salesforce. We're really excited about all of these changes. There's a lot more coming in Q4, but this is our first thing to kind of start off October with a bang. So jump in today, click around, check out that new menu, check out the new performance analytics pages for battle cards and boards. And as always, if you have questions, jump into the CIC Slack. We're always watching that Slack community and we're happy to help. Have a great day.